With the efforts to help those in need taken by thieves. Donated food and items in Montgomery County stolen. Now two men and one woman are facing charges. KPRC 2's Jonathan Martinez is live in Willis with what investigators have learned about those suspects. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, very serious crimes that we're talking about here. We're told of the three people involved. One of them at the time was an employee and now former employee. A second was a volunteer and a third was, a, was an acquaintance. And that crime allegedly happened here at a pantry in Willis. We were able to get recordings of them actually taking the items. A six-month investigation into a place meant to help others ends with this trio behind bars after investigators say they were instead helping themselves to items that were donated. You know, they don't have any shame to do something like that. Authorities say Teresa Herod, a former district employee, Christopher Walker, a volunteer, and Samuel Saldana were arrested and charged with theft, engaging in organized criminal activity following a tip to Crime Stoppers about thefts at the Parent Support Center in Willis ISD. The center was set up to help struggling families with food, clothes, and more. Instead, authorities say many of the items that had been donated were stolen by the trio and then resold at area flea markets. And up to 75% of the items ordered from the food pantry were coming in the front door and going out the back door. In all, investigators believe over $30,000 worth of items were stolen, including everything from chips and drinks to cookies and cosmetics, even personal hygiene products. The thefts, investigators say, was part of the reason the Parent Support Center shuttered in September of 2020. A lot of people depending on it, but and a few bad apples ruined it for the underprivileged people. The pantry has since reopened on a smaller scale for underprivileged students and their families. Meanwhile, the three accused of stealing will soon be back in court for the alleged crimes. Just the exploitation of generosity, it hurts a lot of people. And the district confirming with us that Teresa Hare, the only employee involved, was terminated in August of 2020. They also released a statement saying they are deeply troubled to learn of the charges that have been filed. We are reporting live from Montgomery County. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC 2 News. Jonathan, thank you.